I ran across a site called the TinCanCabin.com where a guy took three 20-foot shipping containers and made a cabin and when you opened the big steel doors on the shipping container you had regular doors and windows. So when he wasn't there it was secure. So we went with that idea but we're using two 40-foot shipping containers. And the inside was gorgeous. That's the other thing. You know, it's a shipping container but it's just the shell of what will become a home. Well, we live in Columbus, Northwest Columbus. It takes about an hour and a half to get down here. And this is in Benton County. We were spending a lot of money renting cabins down in this area. So we thought we'd build one. So we found this land for sale, 12 and a half acres. And we bought it and that's where we are today. We say it keeps us out of trouble on weekends. It's our gym, free gym membership. <laughs> we feel good that we're reusing something that's just sitting around. They're collecting all over the country. Uh, China ships a lot more here than we ship back. So it's good that we can use this stuff rather than it just eventually going to scrap. And we do plan to use as much as we can from a reduce, reuse, recycle standpoint. So a lot from Habitat for Humanity, donations from family, as well as Craigslist. We got our mattress platform from Craigslist free. Do you have any advice for other people who are interested in doing this? Go for it. We'll contract. <laughs> Pick for yourself.